Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the lesson I created for grade four or five students called My City. It features a short five minute long video introducing one of the largest cities in China, Nanjing. It is a city where I live and it is a city that I love. Students are going to love this lesson because it gives them an opportunity to travel without leaving the classroom. In this uh, lesson, students learn new vocabulary words and enhance their reading skills. The five follow-up activities include reading comprehension, vocabulary comprehension, and some grammar exercises. This lesson ends in many presentations designed in such a way that everyone gets to participate and speak English, which is super important for an English class. This lesson is available for sale in my stores on Teachers Pay Teachers and Taobao. All the links are in the description below. Before we get to the walkthrough, I'd like to give a shout out to my patron Martina. Martina, thank you very much for supporting my channel. Also, if you like what you see here, please like and subscribe to help me grow my channel. Also, don't forget to smash that bell icon to turn the notifications on so you never ever miss a single upload. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the video. Let's take a good look at this PowerPoint lesson. I'm going to skip the part um, where I go through the class rules. The class rules are pretty much in every um, uh, walkthrough that I posted before. So if you want to see how uh, or what my class rules are, please watch one of the previous walkthroughs. New vocabulary words. So this part helps the teacher to tell the students to have their notebooks ready because they're supposed to write down every single new word they see. And let's go through the new vocabulary words. The first word is address. As you can see here, um, it's a new word. This is the part of speech and here's the translation into Chinese because I teach in China. If you want to change Chinese into um, your language, it's very easy to do it in the PowerPoint. And this is the um, sentence. Well, I use this word in a sentence. My address is 18 Shanghai Street, apartment number 55. All these words are from the story. Jiangsu province. Nanjing is in Jiangsu province, China. Huge. They live in a huge house. <laughs> department store. My aunt works in a department store. Tourist. Millions of tourists visit Rome every year. What can you do in the park? I can play on the slide or go on the swings. What else can you do in the park? I can play on the seesaw or hang on the monkey bars. Now we are going to watch a short video uh, where I introduce the city I live in, Nanjing. The video is five minutes long, but I'm going to show you the first minute. If you want to see the full uh, video, please go to my store and buy this lesson. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Henry. I am nine years old. I am from China. I live in Nanjing. I go to school in Gulo. I am in grade four. I live in an apartment next to my school. My address is 18 Shanghai Street, apartment 55. Welcome to my city. Wow. 
Welcome to Nanjing. Nanjing is a big city in China. It is the capital of Jiangsu province. The word Nanjing means southern capital. The word Nan means the south. And the word Jing means capital. In Nanjing, you can see a lot of tall buildings. Huge department stores. Beautiful parks. And interesting museums. Pop quiz! How much do you remember? The first exercise after the video is a reading comprehension exercise or activity. So here, uh, the students need to answer um, a few questions. For example, question number one, does Henry live in a house or an apartment? Um, also, you can explain that in the UK, people say flat. In the United States, people say apartment. This is a house and that is an apartment building. Then you invite a student from each team to stand up and choose the correct answer or say the correct answer. In this case, Henry lives in an apartment. That is the correct answer. Next one, next pair of students. Uh, stand up and you ask the next question. What is Henry's address? And they need to choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. In this case, the correct answer is A. Henry lives um, at 18 Shanghai Street. Next pair of students. What does Nanjing mean? And the word Nanjing means Southern Capital. So um, hopefully your students can answer all these questions after watching the video. All right, let me show you one more. How old is Nanjing? Nanjing is 2,600 years old. And I'm going to skip the rest to save your time. Next activity. What do children like to play on in the park? So your students are going to have 30 seconds to read all the text from the video and they need to scan for uh, information to answer this question. This technique is really, really good for the students because we don't always need to read the full text. We just need to scan and find information that we need. So um, it's one of the um, reading skills that we teach our students as teachers. So here we go. Uh, this is the whole text from the video and they need to go through it, scan it and find the information they need. In the PowerPoint, this text is going to disappear automatically after 30 seconds. And here we go. Four things that children like to play on. Uh, again, you can do it in teams. You can invite, for example, a couple of students from each team to go to the blackboard and write down four things that children like to play on. Whoever does it first gets a point for their team. The correct answer is this. Slide, seesaw, swings, and monkey bars. And then you show them the text with these four words that they were supposed to find. Um, this way you cater for both strong students and weak students. Your strong students are going to get the answer quickly, but your weak students need to actually read the text, see the text before they can um, get the answers right. Next exercise, find the different word. This is a vocabulary comprehension exercise. Um, you can do it in pairs. Uh, or you can invite uh, a couple of students to do it uh, on the board. So here we go. Find the different word. Shanghai, China, Beijing. 
China is the odd one out because it's a country and Shanghai and Beijing are cities and so on. Address, house, apartment, address is the odd one out. Three, museum, hospital, painting, painting is the odd one out and so on. Here we go. All right, next exercise, choose the correct word. Uh, this is a grammar exercise. So your students need to choose, um, yeah, the correct answer, the correct word. So it can be done as a group activity or you can do it in pairs or uh, you can do it as a whole class activity. You can display all these um, sentences on the board and then the students you know copy them uh, or write them in their notebooks it's really up to you how you can do it you know every teacher is different every classroom setting is different so you can be creative with it so here we go Henry lives at 18 Shanghai Street Nanjing is famous for its long history and number three on a warm sunny day people like to go for a walk all right i'm going to skip the next page because i think you get the idea true or false this is a reading comprehension activity so uh your students need to read the sentences and decide if they're true or false number one nanjing is the capital of china this is false. This is wrong. Nanjing is the capital of Jiangsu province. Two, there are more than 11 million people in Nanjing. This is wrong again because um, there are more than 8 million people in Nanjing. And so on. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, and you're going to finish this lesson with mini presentations. Mini presentations are a great activity to recap your class because um, they summarize everything that's been taught and also it's a great opportunity to involve a lot of students and get them speak because at the end of the day uh, this is what we want our students to do we want them to speak we want them to listen we want them to read we want them to write and we want them to think in english so how do we do that my favorite city group activity form a group of five students in your groups write about your favorite city any city you want uh, one student should say one sentence. Present your work in front of the class. Everyone must speak. Look how you can do it. So after they uh, worked in groups, after they're prepared for this uh, activity, you're going to invite one group uh, to stand in front of the board. Like so and the first student is going to say the first sentence my favorite city is beijing then the second student should say the second sentence it is the capital of china there are 20 million people in beijing it is famous for the great wall beautiful parks and beijing duck welcome to my city so after you've shown them this example, you can give them, you can show them this prompt and ask them to work in groups. So these sentence starters are going to help your students to come up with beautiful and nice sentences. And it also helps them to create good paragraphs or uh, speeches, you know. So um, all they need to do is to follow these sentence starters and talk about their city. And remember, one sentence, one student. Well, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you decide to buy it or use some elements from it in your classroom, please let me know about it in the comment section below. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.